What's happening everyone, William Johnson here. I wanted to share with you a small review of one of my panderos. This is an instrument that I've fallen in love with. It is made by Luthier, Cavaquinho Luthier and Pandero Luthier, Gabriel Trancoso from Argentina. And he has a company called Panderar. It is an incredible company. He makes some beautiful instruments and I've been wanting to do this video and review for quite some time now. So this pandero is a very light one and I have a larger pandero that I also play. However, this one is the one that I play the most often. I only have a couple panderos and I'm still somewhat new. I've only been playing for about two and a half years or so, but really the last year is when I started taking it pretty seriously. Anyhow, this pandero is around 10 ounces or 280 grams, something like that around that. I, I could be slightly off, but it's a nine inch with actual skin, so it's not a synthetic head, and it's just a gorgeous drum. It has the beautiful marupa wood and guitar binding. This beautiful design is guitar binding around the frame, as well as brass placinellas. They're very nice and dry, but they still have some unique characteristics to them, uh, as lo along with, I love this brass, uh, the lugs, the fittings around, the tuning lugs around the drum as well. And now, Gabriel also uses, he's currently using a flat aluminum ring. However, this one has a round brass ring as well. And I believe it's brass because it does have pretty much the same color. Uh, I thought maybe it was aluminum, but when you look at it and it's like, okay, I'm pretty sure it has brass as well. Now, if you want to have a model just like this one, which is, I mean, it's got really nice, a really nice low, uh, you know, sound to it, the bass, and as well as the, the slaps are crispy on this drum. So I love it. However, Gabriel let me know that he informed me that if you want to have a drum just like this one, a Fandero like this one, you can just ask for the William model. And you can find him on Instagram at Panderar, P-A-N-D-E-R-A-R, -E I believe it is, Gabriel Trancoso. I'll put a link down to his Instagram as well as his website below, Panderar. He, I think he still sells on Etsy. That's where I found him, actually. I love finding uh, stuff on Etsy. For some reason, uh, there's just so, there's so many really neat uh, crafts and beautiful craftsmanship and uh, craftsmen and on Etsy. There's some beautiful artists there. So anyhow, it also has nice uh, rubber ring, whatever you call this. You know, it's nice for the hand as far as where you hold the, uh, the pandero. It's got the logo on the inside. And I mean, it's just nice. There's not a whole lot of, uh, I have just a tiny bit of muting, but really it's not much. It's almost doing nothing. I mean, the drum itself is already tuned with not too many other, uh, not transients, but you know, just other sounds that any ringing or anything like that. I mean, I just love where the drum is already at. It's great craftsmanship. The sound is beautiful sonically. There's so much you know, that you can get out of it. And the fact that it's so light, I love it. You know, now when you first start playing Pandero, you have to get used to holding the tambourine and playing it this way for quite a bit of time. If you're not used to that, there may be a little bit of strength and stamina you have to build up with your wrist. But this drum is so light that you don't have to worry about it as much. And of course, if, if the, the much heavier and larger Panderos are often played, you know, with them holding down here as such. However, I can play this nice and, you know, upright like this. And I love the sound and the bass that you can get out of it as well. I have it tuned almost to where it's almost not tuned. It's almost finger tight is where I have it, just slightly above that currently. But, I mean, the sound... You can almost play it like a... You know, a reek or a kanjira, right? Of course, it's not a kanjira, but the sound is, you know, there's, there's sounds that you can get that are reminiscent of it. One of the things I love about this drum is that even though it's nine inches, it's a smaller pandero, is the dynamic range of sounds, the sonic 
possibilities, right? There, you can get a lot of bass out of the, the drum. Obviously, I have it mic'd so you can hear a little bit more. You may want to get it clip on mic, you know, to have it through your PA system. But even if it's not mic, you can, you can, you can fill a room. You know, obviously, we're not talking about an amphitheater or, you know, a stadium. But you can fill a room pretty nicely with the lower end. But it's very snappy. Nice staccato sounds with the placinellas. And, I mean, man. It's a great drum. Also, another cool thing that this drum actually came with a case, a nice black case. And it fits one of my other drums that I carry around quite a bit, my Katak from Kandu. So this case is beautiful, not just for this pandero, which is padded. Padded case that came with the pandero. But it's just slightly larger, and I love that because I can fit some other stuff in there. I can fit, you know, a book if I'm on the, you know, road, and my wrench, it has an actual pouch up front, and a tuning wrench, and whatever else that I'm going to carry. Nice case. It's got a strap, two straps. A handle, actually, I'm just one strap. A handle and a strap. So, you know, great. It's got, so you can be ready to hit the road. Right? So beautiful drum. Excellent craftsmanship by Gabriel. Check him out. I'll put all of his links below. I love the brass placinellas, the light, the, the weight. Everything about it. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thank you, Gabriel. Check out Banderar. And I'll put all the links below. And you can hit him up on Instagram or via his website. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And I'll see you soon.